I'm Kat Miller and this is Dice TV. I have given lots of advice on writing resumes. I've told you to use express terms for keyword searches, to customize your resume for each specific job posting, and to describe your accomplishments in precise and exciting terms. But what tips do I have for crafting your resume if you have what one skeptic refers to as a real job and not a fancy one? Well today, I'm going to give you some tips on how to spice up your resume if your job is more about production and less about strategy. Tip number one, format. Format is the most important element of your resume. Well, you know, apart from content. You have to appeal to the human eye first, so putting together a crisp, easy to read document will demonstrate that you yourself are meticulous and conscientious and will separate you from the crowd. El tipo numero dos, quality versus quantity. Production workers tend to list every conceivable task and activity because they harbor this misconception that volume is a substitute for proficiency. Instead, you should lead off with a career summary that highlights only your strongest attributes and competencies. Le type le toi, <laughs> French, quantify your activities. Did you support 35 users or 3,500 users? Have you coded 400 apps or four apps? Using metrics and percentages to quantify and highlight your key activities and achievements will make your resume pop and help you better prepare for interviews. Un tips fine val vir. Four. Offer testimonials including a quote from a manager or a peer about your proficiency in coding or your record for solving 95% of user issues on the first call serves to highlight those achievements. Zetipske, Numberski, uh, all right, I'm done. It's five, it's tip number five. Write a powerful cover letter. The whole point of the resume submitting, receiving, evaluating process is to prove in writing why you're the best person for the job. A cover letter is just another opportunity to eloquently explain why you specifically are exactly that. Production workers need to demonstrate that they're a stellar performer within their genre. Once you've submitted your resume, it's out of your hands, so why not do everything you can to make yourself as distinct and appealing as you can possibly be on paper? These tips will help you do just that. I'm Kat Miller and this is Dice TV.